the bottom there. I don't think it's better on land, same as LA. Seen them go through this before. Being down from Optic, Texas. Gorillas, now they know where the pressure's coming in with 30 seconds remaining. All of Carolina had to apply pressure over through Drunk, but they find all the kills. Now all you need is a trade on the fame. The break is going to be successful. Final some of this rotation over, but it doesn't stop the kills from still coming through for Carolina. Somehow, some way, they keep putting together the kills they need. Astro runs out of Amy Nick. So Carolina have a big opportunity here to grow the lead even more. And considering it feels like Carolina are making all the right plays, LAG are doing a great job of staying involved. In particular, fame, six of LAG. And now you're starting to really feel the impact of the kills for Carolina. Almost everybody at least positive, if not double positive, fellow continues to destroy this LAG squad. I can find a couple of kills. They can not just win rotation, they can make life hard on the exit time here. And that all comes down to what the route right there was out of Clayster. He knows that with 30 seconds left, I'm still going to put myself over towards the next HP. So they currently have a 50 point lead. They're trying to bounce back off of the loss yesterday to Optic. Let's step aside and go to a list. I not any low. Yeah, 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 they're working left. They're working left. Yeah, they're working left. There's nothing top did, did they get low right, shit, bro? They're native. They're broke top broken. I think uh, one's one's deep, broken, guys, broken. One middle middle left garage, Clay. They could jump out of you. Off the rotation back through market. Shut down as two gorillas were fighting through. Now the focus has to be up through the front. Astro just walks on up. Gwyn didn't have any support at all over the top. Fellow was a little bit late. TJ is off the regen. So Carolina, once again, contested early. LAG still sticking around, even though it feels like Carolina are dominating the map. It just has not turned into the hard point time you'd expect. But you can already see the heads up plays coming in out of the veteran. Glacier hits up to soak a lot of this P5 time. You have the gorillas exactly where you want them, trying to head bash their way up through red side. Just got to make these kills a lot more difficult for them. You have Gwyn cutting off top. Top red fellow just trillers on the second half of that game now trying to put together a defensive response of their own dc estriel getting aggressive but a stun does land in the face of that trophy and diamond con who has to hold off oh, oh goodness tj gets the first at range and then estriel who was affected by the stun also now falls into the hands of the players over at a yeah. trying to cover that ground and that's tj smoke by the way that encompasses this middle archway at b so lag will not see if anyone has crossed or not let alone the fact that TJ has been able to get really far forward. Here's the look back over towards Rubble. Tough gun fight with Fame. He thinks he has full focus for Carolina. Over towards the B site. Diamond Con deep on the defense. Fame up top. There should be a read here. You cannot give away a first blood if you're LAG. And this is perfect because Carolina in that previous attack and round, the stuns were able to hit, slow down the pocket. If you're the Gorillas, you have to figure out how the hell we're going to stop this B plant. I mean, what do you do here? You have to be stacked up over towards shops. Gwyn's definitely going to call the crews from backside barrel here. And you would figure as soon as this is called in, the hit should be pretty much on the way. Diamond Con going to stay a little while longer to see if you can see anything, but all four members stuck over. Once he gets that first kill, he but he's got to get to work on the zone. Indeed. Fame has come right back to him. So now the clock stops at eight seconds. Off the respawn is a little bit more of where the difficulty starts to come through for Ravens. And as Flames takes off for way to contest this B zone, likely coming off spawn. Flames still trying to get, get forward, get into the face of this Carolina defense. It's working out nicely for him. DC still on the zone. Clayser right off the rip, but the propane takes down Gwyn. And then this side, unfortunately, somehow, someway, TJ dies. <laughs> so I just don't get it. There are some rounds that gets a little bit of focus over towards B, but I mean, LNG are just getting away with whatever the heck they want right now. They are all over this Ravens team, and you can kind of feel the breath in the lungs of the Ravens has been vacuumed out just to touch a shift, possibly a momentum here for the series that this holds, which it looks like it will, and Fames over the top with the pistol. That will do it. Goodbye, high rise. But it's like in a series that you help with the first engagement. Someone's got to get into the HP. He knows that there's pressure all around. I'm not able to find that kill onto Fame, so the break comes in early for the Gorillas. ARs, though, for Carolina, giving them a chance for the re-break quickly, and they take good advantage of it. Now fellow through mid-map. Clay stuck in a corner. Try to get back over to help contest this hard point. Fellow from the interior, able to find one. That's enough for him to step away and take care of another two. Unreal stuff. Now just down to flames. And nope, not going to get past Felony. How about the six in a row for him and a cruise missile? Oh, he's been unbelievable on land. He finds himself now. All is going to be theirs. But if you are the Gorillas, you can't give up all this time. You're going to be blessed with the rotation over towards B5. And you have to make up for some much needed time. Only down by 40. So going to be a one-on-one -on -one over towards the old here for the final 10. But the oldest teams we have yep. by average age in the league. But wow. Fellow and Clay have had their way with this LAG squad. Clay on rotation, trying to get themselves set up for some early time here at that P1. Fellow on five in a row, looking for a second cruise missile shot to eventually get a bit of a break. They need this final 15. Yes, they they also need to chain it over to that P2. So a couple kills have to start going in your favor. 
Babe sitting at 5 and 18. You need to start to turn this around if you want to keep your tournament dreams alive. But you can see they were super aggressive up on that side of the map, and Carolina actually blessed themselves with those perfect spawns over the final 10. And now with the Gorillas being down 90, you need a response here at P3. And LAG is just all over the place. Individuals all over the map. No cohesion. Have to figure out how they're going to get back to their strengths 